Hey everybody, it's Amy. Um, so today we're doing something a little bit different, uh, or a lot of bit different, really. Um, I realize that I, you know, my computer is kind of garbage, but I do at least have enough power to run um, some pretty cool sort of indie games. And this is one that I've sunk, Jesus, I think like 170 hours, just because I, you know, uh, I, I'm really into... Um, the way it plays and the the interesting sort of lore that it sets up the systems that it has in place. Uh, Baldur's Story Abyssal City is kind of a Metroidvania style game where you run around this huge map and as you unlock abilities you can explore more places. Uh, it's got more of um more of like a side-scrolling beat-em-up style combat system though. Uh, so we're gonna play on normal because I've even playing on hard is just murder on me. You start with uh, two playable characters, uh, Wyatt, who is our sweet angry boy, Reyna, who I'm going to be playing as for this um, this look. Uh, she is a monk, and she's awesome. There's also Vladeen, who is, uh, as, the, as the game says, he has an arm that's possessed by a hundred demons. Uh, they were just kind of shoved in there by the angels, uh, experimenting on people, and... Um, it gives him cool summoning abilities, and he's a he's like a gunslinger type, so he's really um, he's the one that like flirts with some of the other characters and stuff. And then Gilda is a half dragon uh, witch. She is pretty cool. She actually starts the game with a, um, a sec uh, like a secondary jump. It's not quite a double jump, but it's like a um, flutter that lets her reach some places other characters can't. Uh, but we're gonna be mostly playing through Raina's story, just because I have a weird thing for female characters that have like hand-to-hand -hand fighting abilities. I just think it's a cool thing to have. And so the fact that that's like her her entire deal uh, makes me like her a lot. So the story features a lot of like angels and demons and uh, these people living in an under, underwater city. It's essentially Atlantis without being Atlantis. Um, a lot of like mystery and stuff for each of the characters. And for now, I'm just going to make this kind of a quick look. Uh, if it goes over well, people enjoy it. Um, I'll play more, so we'll see. Uh, put it on page four. I was already testing out some stuff, so. We attract the demon warship all the way to the South Sea below the frozen wastes. Using the heavy mist as cover, we ambush the warship. We've been searching for Gurnart for many months now. He's the last living Hyogokin knight in Mergado's dark army and a key target in our plan to liberate the southern territories under Mercado's control. They're demons. We gave the crew their orders and prepared to board the warship. There's our four characters looking badass. The real battle was about to begin. But something came up from the black depths of the sea. Creatures unlike any I have ever seen. Beasts of impossible size, neither demonic nor angelic. Our ship was attacked, and then... Tell me, child, what is it you seek? What I seek? Peace. To end the era of suffering brought to this world by the gods. War is not new to this world. The history of man was stained with the blood of the innocents long before the gods came into the picture. Many more powerful than you have tried to save this world. Peace was short-lived at best. I will not give up. I will see an end to this war. We shall see. That's a bit of lore I like a lot, that uh, humans already existed before the gods came into the picture. Ironically, that's actually something I was kind of, I've been kind of playing around with in the stories that I was writing, where uh, it, it's much more, it's like a Terry Pratchett style approach to doing gods where gods are brought into creation through the beliefs of mortal beings. Uh, and it's, it's a... It makes things interesting, if nothing else. It's kind of...
turn gods into servants, almost. And then they sort of forget that fact as they become more powerful. Uh, so, as we sort of go through the credits here, this is our characters falling. Ouch! That light I was surrounded by was a shield spell, but from where? This place is under the sea? If I fell here, surely some of the others must have as well. Yeah! So here I am. Uh, so like I said, this is Reyna. She's a monk girl. Um, quick tutorial. RT is your uh, spell button. And then you can do directional stuff. So I've got healing. I've got that uh, speed up thing. I've got like a shield. Or I can open up this menu. And that's where you can like quick select your spells. Uh, because I've already played through everything on this game, I also have all her other weapons. Uh, for now, I'm just going to focus on the hand-to-hand -hand ability she has. Uh, she has a scarf that she wears, uh, and that is going to increase her combo because the accessory she comes with lowers her combo, but gives her punches and kicks weapon effects, so it's kind of just a, a starting balance. Uh, part of the reason I've sunk so much into this game is because each character comes with three different skill trees, uh, all effectively strength, protection, and um, magic, although the middle one could also sometimes be like evasive maneuvers or, or things like that. It, it sort of depends from character to character. Uh, also, everything you put on has a sort of soul affinity to it. Uh, right now, she's in neutral, um, and you can be either fully neutral uh, angelic or demonic, and each one of those paired with your four stats will also give you different buffs and bonuses. So, you know, I just spend a lot of time messing around with all the different uh, stats and things. Uh, so now I just have to get my handle, my handle back on how the game actually plays. <clears throat> you humans don't learn, do you? We warned you to stay out of our way. You are outmatched. I will only ask once to stand down. In the name of the Dark Lady, I shall rip you to shreds. Whoops, I murdered him. Uh, and go, going back for a second to what I said about playing games, uh, playing this on, um, playing this on normal instead of on one of the harder settings. I am absolutely not uh, some kind of uh, I don't even know what the term would be, uh, supremacist or whatever when it comes to game difficulty, you know, uh, if you want to play games on easy mode, that is absolutely your choice. Uh, you know, I've played... I've played through most of the Dark Souls series except for Bloodborne, because that's console exclusive. Um, and that's sort of the hardest that it, I ever let a game get, because those games are specifically tuned to one style of play, and so it works well. But in games like this, where you sort of get used to one style playing on easy, and then you go up to a more difficult play style, all of a sudden it feels completely unweighted against you. Oh shit, my dog! Fallon, thank goodness you're alright! Now I'm sure the others must be in this place as well. Come on, boy, let's go find them. Uh, so, Reyna's other big thing is that she starts out with a companion before anybody else gets one. Press the LT button, he shows up, Rawr! and then I get a uh, buff to my magic, and he also will attack any enemy that's nearby. Um, but yeah, so, I, I don't know, I, I'll play a Souls game, because those are sort of, the difficulty is as much, uh, I'm just going to sink everything to agility for now, because that's her kind of best stat, and let's give her... Faster attacks. Uh, your sort of ability to play those games is as much related to uh, how much research you do. Uh, before I played Dark Souls One, I you know watched a ton of videos. I watched the first part like very briefly of a Let's Play, so I kind of knew my way around things. I knew how the different systems worked. Uh, so it's kind of this tr not exactly trial and error, but um, Pretty impressive taking down an ogre on your own. All right, well, screw you. A human, do you know where we are? You came all the way down here and you don't know where you are? You angels are dumber than you look. Angel? I'm not an angel, and why do you insult me? You don't even know me. 
You're right, I don't know you, so get lost. Hold on, at least tell me where we are. Oh, jerk. Um. Oh, she's cool though, she's like Samus. I wanna be like Samus. Eh. Um. But yeah, really, like, at the end of the day, games are all about having fun. And why in the world would you want to be, like, a huge asshole to somebody who just, you know, already has fun with games the way that they are on an easier setting? I mean, half the reason I like this game, not because it's, like, challenging exactly, but games often come with a certain amount of what, what is called game feel. This game has really good game feel, hence why I've sunk so much time into it. A uh, similar experience with... Dishonored and Deus Ex, where the sneaking felt really good, or, um, even just, like, Skyrim. I mean, the reason you can play Skyrim is because it's just like, oh, this trigger does this hand, and this trigger does this hand, and, you know, just sort of go off into the world and make your way. And, uh, you know, if you want to play those on easy, like, maybe you're not playing a game for the challenge, maybe you're playing it because it just feels good to play. And... I don't know. I'm now beginning to understand why Let's Players have such a difficult time because, uh, you know, when I was playing We Know the Devil, I could sort of pace it as I wanted and, and talk as I pleased. And now all of a sudden I'm in, in the middle of action and totally flubbing whatever my thoughts are. Which is also kind of why I picked this game because. Uh, uh, I know well enough that I can just kind of go on autopilot to some degree. Uh, so I just picked up the Master Scroll. Now I have this cool dash, which I'm going to use forever because it's awesome. We're actually going to start right here. So, whoop. thank you, dog. That's my good, good murder dog, Fallowin. I like them a lot. Uh, it's kind of a weird system because it doesn't always charge up the same. If you're in combat, it's a lot slower to charge back up. It's that little purple symbol under my health and magic. Uh, and then the one next to that is my uh, super ability. Um, I feel strange energy coming from that room. Is someone there? Not exactly. That statue? Oh, you felt the energy of a save point. Also, that is the goddess. And I'm going to be honest, as much as I've played this, there are, uh, there's a lot of the lore that I sort of don't always remember too well. Uh, there's, there's a lot of, like, angels and demons, gods and goddesses. Um, each of the main characters has, like, somebody that they're connected to. So you're the rat snooping around. There are no holes for you to crawl into and hide this time. Who needs to hide from you? You're just another one of Mergato's lapdogs. Silence, rat. What's this? Another rat to come out of hiding? I do not hide from demons. I went through all the others, and I will go through you just the same. Well now, aren't you scary? Open your eyes, girl. You're unarmed. You have no chance against me. Assuming I'm at a disadvantage will be your last mistake. What is it with you rats? If you have a death wish, I will oblige you. Dark Lady, behold, I give you an offering of blood. You shouldn't promise her things you can't deliver. I hear she has a bad temper. Uh, this is actually the brother of uh, Gilda, the one of the four main playable characters, which I totally forgot until I was messing around and... Fudge! Ah! Oh, I wasted my super. Oh, everything is bad. Everything is terrible. Everything is awful. Everything is bad, and I suck at games. I believe this dude's kind of a chump. Uh, but he really did screw up thinking that I'm at some kind of disadvantage because I'm unarmed. Because, like, guess what, motherfucker? I'm a monk. That's literally all monks do. Okay, well, alright. There's a lot of little boys around. Oh... Oh. oh, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and cheese this for a second. Oh. God, he's just Donkey Kong up there, and I don't... 
particularly like it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm like trying to, to do the dodge cancel. Uh, and I keep forgetting that it's like way slower. I should just guard. If I were smart, I would guard. Uh, and then each boss battle has a rating system. Uh, I could have done better. I normally do this fight without wasting my, my health potion, but... Not bad for a rat. I'm starting to enjoy this. Only. Looks like we have to cut our dance short. I'm not done with you yet. We will meet again. Okay. What are those things? We have to get out of here. I can't handle myself. I didn't ask for your help. I'm sure you can take care of yourself, but now really isn't the time for that. I don't think those things are following us. You act pretty strange for an angel. I already told you I'm not an angel. My ship was attacked, and we all fell into the ocean. Somehow, I ended up here. So you were the ball of light I saw fall from the sky earlier. That's the reason I came out here. Did you see any of the others from my ship? I must find them. I haven't. You're the only human from the surface I've seen in Sithale. Sithale. I think that's how you say that. You mean this is the city that fell at the start of the war? That's what they say, but I wasn't born back then. We call the creatures you saw back there ferals. They eat anything that's not one of them, but usually they stay in their own territory. Come with me in my village. I know this city well. Maybe I can help you find your crew. Your village? You mean there are more people living down here? Oh, shit. It's like falling into Atlantis and shit is crazy. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, I think I prefer this this set of abilities. Um, if you didn't see some of them during the during the boss fight, I have this really cool one where if I'm in midair and I hit magic, I summon like a second of myself, and it's I think it's called decoy, but it it's really I mean it's a double. It literally does damage for me, and it uses all of my moves. It's really cool. And so that's kind of the thing, is that then each character has a fighting system, a magic system, four different weapons. Uh, they can each have divine or angelic states to them. Uh, like I said, um, Vladeen can summon. Gilda is like pure magic. All her attacks are MP-based. So instead, for her, the right trigger helps her uh, uh, rebuild her MP meter. Um... It's, it's just a cool game, and like I would love to see more from this developer, because they clearly put a lot of love into this. Uh, well, it looks like it didn't come back empty-handed. Who's she? She's from the surface. She helped me with some of the demons back there. And all the excitement back there, I forgot to ask your name. My name is Reyna. Reyna, huh? Sounds familiar. Anyway, the Elder said to send you with him, send you to him when you got back. Something important. Thanks. Come on, the Elder's place is at the bottom of town. Because this is a Metroidvania game, and we don't use cardinal directions. We talk about top and bottom, right and left. Everything has a lot of like verticality to it in this game. Um, she's just kind of following along with this, so I'll just drop down here, save spot. Also, really nice touch is just that like every person you walk by, even if they have really unimportant dialogue has like cool character art. So, I mean, a lot of the character art is like shared between people, but each one has an individual name. Um, it's just, and I mean, the ba everything is like, it looks very painterly and... I don't know, this dude's name is Casey. He tells me about this little heater here and how it, how it's, you know, sort of the last functioning one in this area. Way to your Reyna. Ah, good, you're back. I was beginning to worry about you, Adeline. You're wounded. I told you to be more careful when gathering supplies, did I not? Elder, it's just a scratch. I met someone out in the derelicts. She's a human from the surface. Is that so? Step closer, outsider. Let me get a look at you. My name is Reyna. My ship was attacked and I ended up in this city. We've not had any contact with humans from the surface since the city fell to the bottom of the sea. We'd assume they were all wiped out by the gods. There are only a few human cities left. The war has taken over most of the world up there. You said your ship was attacked. Was it by demons? No, it was something else. Giant creatures larger than anything I've ever seen. 
giant creatures? You expect us to believe that? You literally have giant creatures right outside your doorstep, asshole. This guy is an asshole, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and out him as an asshole. You could be a demon spy for all we know. You must believe me. I just want to find the others from my ship. Quiet, Zeke. It's obvious that what happened to Adeline would have been much worse if she had not shown up. Have you known any demon or angel to ever help us help one of us down here? She had no reason to help her, but she did. Elder, she isn't. She's not a demon or an angel. She's a human like us. That's all the trust we need for now. Gah. Ellipses. I'm sorry to say we have. Uh, I'm sorry to say we have not seen any of the people from your ship, but maybe we can help each other. We've lost contact with one of the other villages due to increased angelic presence to the east. I had hoped to send Adeline on a task to reestablish communication with her. But seeing as how she went and got herself injured, may I ask you to take her place? Grandfather, wait. You can't ask an outsider to... Hush, child. She would fare much better than you at this. You will stay here and have these wounds tended to. Yes, Elder. The people of... Will not pass. I'm sorry. I've seen the name Croc a lot, and it just... Every time it sounds like somebody is vomiting, and it makes me laugh. Uh, will not trust you when they see your hair. There's a weird thing with hair uh, that kind of comes and goes in this game. Take the package beside me and deliver it to them. My hair? What do you mean? You haven't noticed? Something down here has turned everyone's hair white. No one knows why exactly. Only de demons and angels seem to retain their hair color. It helps us tell them apart. Yours will fade too with time. Tell them Elder Treyer sent you. That might get you inside. Hopefully you will find information about your companions there. Reyna, take this wall hook. You'll need it to get to the mausoleum district east of here. So both angels and demons are in this city, but why? We don't know. They just began showing up about a year ago. Watch yourself out there. Hell yeah. Uh, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and go hit that save point. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Um, everybody in the crew has a weird hair color. Uh, and everybody down here has white hair. Um, and I... As near as I can tell, that's not a thing up top. But it is interesting that she's kind of a... Um, you know, she's got sort of this blondish hair. Uh, Wyatt's got red hair. Uh, Vladine has a very deep purple hair, and Gilda's got green hair. Um, Vladine... I forget how early you find out, but he's most definitely not human. Uh, Gilda is clearly not human because she's, you know, half dragon, so that would make sense. They said there are angels around here. I should keep my guard up. Uh, Reyna and Wyatt both have kind of that uh, protagonist amnesia, so uh, there's sort of a something you're not supposed to know about their past. And I won't say specifically what's going on with them, because it is still pretty cool and if anybody, you know, watches this and thinks they want to try the game, which I would highly recommend because as it you know i've sunk so many hours into it um but it's pretty cool an intruder goddess of light grant me strength so that i may cleanse the world of the shadow you do not need to fight if you would just let me pass i will not hurt you oh well that lasted all two seconds Ugh. So the wall hook she gave me is a wall jump. It's pretty sweet. Nice. Okay. Back around. Oh. But, you know, I was talking about game feel earlier, and that's, I think, one thing that has definitely caused me to play this game a lot more than I would some other games. It's just that it feels really good. The combo system is really cool and fluid. I like the idea that you, uh, you have this evasive maneuver, and what you have to do is basically hit down on the control stick quickly. Or you hit down on the control stick, and that activates it. And then if you hit it in a direction, you'll go in that direction. Um, some characters have abilities that will if you time it right... Wait, I think there's a thing here. Yeah! Uh, if you time it right, you can get those abilities back, so you can almost, but not quite, evade infinitely if you're good enough. And that's sort of where the harder modes come in. Uh, this game also has a really cool combat arena. Uh, I know that there's a... Sp 
special armor that you can unlock for all characters if you get to level 30. I think the farthest I've gotten is, is level 17, and that was only by just, like, cheesing my, the ever-loving crap out of that arena. Um, it gives you access to all the characters um, and all the shops in this, like, one contained area. And each time you win a fight, you get a certain amount of um, coins. And then you use those coins to buy levels, any equipment you've ever gotten in the game. Uh, you have access to all of your companion attacks, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I sent in Gilda, who is, like I said, she has a button that lets her literally just recharge her mana at will. And there's a suit of armor in the game that depletes mana instead of health. So she's effectively invincible for, you know, a while if you... And, and since, you know, in the arena you can just get access to her and the armor instantaneously. It's just absolutely broken. Um, so we've got a save point here. And then there's this. Which says nothing, although I believe you get a flower somewhere you can lay at this grave for something. I don't know who Pesh is. I believe it was... I, I would have to assume it was one of the programmers on the game. Ugh. Oh, I fucked that up. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Uh, and the chest over there is a suit of armor I desperately want. So, oh god, how do I do this? Ugh. There we go. Okay. Just gonna speed our way over. I'll jump. Yeah! Suck it, Angel Pants. Go get dead, Angel Face. Uh, so that armor, it's not great for my build. Uh, it's strength and intel plus one. High amount of armor, but the important thing is that it's immune to freeze. And I'm about to go into a area, an area where literally everything is freezing. So, plus the boost of my strength doesn't hurt while I'm still in the early levels. Um, boosting all my agility essentially makes it so that my attacks don't do a ton of damage, but they just ignore all of an enemy's armor. Or at least enough that it makes a huge difference. And I believe that increases drastically with uh, agility in her case. Uh, but in the meantime, having armor that increases my strength will make my pure attack damage higher. Which isn't bad. Um, I can't use this yet. This is another thing that I'll get pretty soon. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a Metroidvania, so you're going to be doing a lot of backtracking. There we go. Okay. Uh, a lot of backtracking. You got to kind of, you know, which is part of the reason that it has such good game feel. It's the same reason that people will just speedrun Metroid, and that's their whole thing. This one's going to be tough. With Aligath's blessing, the light shall wash your stain from this world. Why must you angels stand in my way at every turn? I will not show you mercy. Oh boy. Alright. I'm just going to send you and do my dirty work for a second here. So this big motherfucker has... Ooh... This sort of. And then I've got focus mode. Unlike most characters, hers lasts for a long time, so I can actually get in some really good hits. Um, but yeah, this dude has giant attacks, unblockable attacks. Ooh! There's also that halo that's just like emitting little fireballs and shit all over the place. Got 
got a fucking body double that just beat the shit out of you. Hell yeah. Oh, armor. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. And then that's a cool little scene right there, just for a couple, like a second, um, you see a, a silhouette of a woman bursting out of it. I've never seen an angel like this back in the monastery. So yeah, uh, there's another little, like, piece of lore sort of dripped down for you. Reyna's monastery was an angelic one, but she's human, so it's, you know, it puts a few question marks in, in place. So now we've got the ability to charge those crystals. The other cool thing it does is when I guard, I get extra defense. So now it does, I think, 50% uh, and guards against much tougher attacks. Ugh. And pretty much every single one of those pretty much explicitly is essentially an unlock feature with a timer on it. That must be another one of those feral creatures. The Elder didn't mention they were in this area, too. And this bastard is the reason why I'm wearing that armor, because they shoot out those, uh, those ice crystals. Every single attack they do will freeze you in place, and you have to, like, wiggle your way out of it. And then, at the end of this area, Kelsifreeze is just a giant ice monster that does the same, only even worse. So it's super, you know, I think that armor was put there on purpose to kind of give you an excuse to... Ugh. Yeah, just like everything that fucking enemy does is murder you with ice. Uh, okay, level. Armor. Here we go. So now we've unlocked the second tier. Uh, what's most useful? Guard break, critical chance, uh, when you're playing an agility-based character, critical chance is always good. Damage with combo style. My combos are never great. Let's focus on guard breaking with kicks. I'll kick. I'll kick anybody. I'll kick any old person. You want to come to me? I'll kick you too. I said I'll kick you too. And hey, how nice of them to give me that. And I can hop up here and grab this. Whee! Oh, you're horrible. Oh, you're very horrible. Yeah, so now my kicks are like super fucking heavy attacks. It's dark in here. So dark. That is a big fail. Fuck. Just fuck everything. Okay. So yeah, that beam will freeze me. Uh, I need this guy to shoot out his little handy-dandy ice platforms. Uh, I'm here and just... Uh, each one of these things will freeze you. It's a frustrating battle if you don't have... Now, you don't have to use the armor. You can also... Um, there are potions you can buy that will temporarily give you defense against... I waste that completely. There are potions you can get that will uh, protect you against poison, freezing, and then later on, uh, burning. Ow. Oh, oh god. Oh, there's a feral in my way. Okay. Ugh. Okay, there we go. A, D, yeah. That was not my best performance. Uh, MP, and if you get a high enough rank, you also get little um, added bonuses, which is also super fucking helpful. I like it a whole lot. Uh, and then this one is a special boss, because it leaves behind a soul for me to pick up. What does it do? Oh shit. Now I can do ice things. I put that too high up on the staircase. Huh. There we go. Woo! Okay, so now we're out of the cold. Um, we can already see that the door up there is high up, so we're gonna need our ice block again. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I got too confident with my jumps. Oh no! Okay. Here we go. Uh, 
Uh, and you can really see, like, how many times I've played this. I'm just so used to having those. Uh, if you play as Vladeen and focus on his defensive skill tree, by the end of the game, I think you can have... Usually characters only get about three of those skill cancels total. He gets, like, five. He can do mid-air skill cancels, so he can, like, sky da air dash and... Oh, man. Hold it right there, stranger. Who are you? Uh, Elder Treyer from Tagrim sent me here with a package. Oh, really? And how exactly did you get past the angels and ferals in the way here? I punched them super hard. Or <laughs> I killed them. Was there another way? Hmm. The Elder will speak with you, but we are watching you. <laughs> I punched them really good. I did, like, super punching awesomeness. Are you the Elder of this place? I am Elder Brea. Show us the package you spoke of. Clank. Well, I'll be damned. That stubborn old man actually came through. My name is Reyna. I was searching for my... We can talk later, outsider. I need you to bring this package to the tram station at the top of the town right away. Oh. Alright, then. Alright, I guess I'll see you later. Uh, well, I'm here. Let me say hello to this guy. You there! You look like the adventuring type. Come here a sec. My armorsmithing skills are the best in the city. Don't let that fool Rago convince you otherwise. He thinks he can look down on me because I work with demonic armor? He's just a coward. I'm, I'm turning into Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I can bring out the true potential of any dark armor you happen to find. So that's Durga. Uh, I don't think I found any dark armor, just the one angelic suit. I'm going to switch back to this now. Uh, just because that combo boost is so helpful. You there, you look like you appreciate fine armor. I don't agree with the Allegathian agenda, but I can't deny that they craft the finest armor. If you happen to find any worn angelic armor, bring it to me and I can fix it like new. And there's Rega, and I guess the two of them are kind of fighting it out. And so yeah, like anything you find armor-wise, uh, weapon-wise, you can upgrade. Um, but with Reyna, you don't have to worry about upgrading your fists. Her fists are just awesome all the time, 24-7. She's a monk. Fucking deal with it. Uh, train center is up here. Claudia. I told you guys not to bother me while I'm working. Wait a second. Who are you, and what's with the hair, lady? I'm from the surface. My name is Reyna. I have a package here from Elder Treyer. I don't believe it. These are the parts I need to finally fix this rust bucket. I'll have this up and running in no time. So what brings you down here from the surface, lady? My ship was attacked, and I fell to this place. I am looking for others from my crew that may have fallen to this city. Why do you keep calling me Lady? Look like Lady to me. Well, I haven't seen any other outsiders except that stranger laid up at the dock's house. What was that? Yeah, a while ago I saw something falling over Central Skyway. A few guards went out to see what it was. Found a man on the Skyway. What, right when they got there, some ferals showed up and attacked them. They said the man defended them with some strange powers, but he was wounded pretty badly in the fight. Brought him back to town unconscious, and he's been in the dock's house since. Where is this house? The dock? It lives on the east side of town, above Durga's armory. Oh, shit. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. So he is here? Yeah. Sybil! Sybil! What's going on? Fine then. Ellipse is all you want. Blazine! You know this man? Yes, he is one of the people from my ship. What's happened to him? He's alive, but I don't know for how much longer. Wish I could do more, but we don't have the resources to help him. Is there nothing we can do? Hey, outsider, over here. You said this man, Vladine, is a friend of yours, right? Some of the other guards and I owe him our lives. He looked like a demon to us, so we cornered him. Then the pharaoh showed up suddenly. All hell broke loose. But he saved us without hesitation. No demon would have done that for us. I could see how you can mistake him for a demon, but he's not... Whatever he is, I owe him. There may be one way to save him that my father neglected to mention. A rare medical herb called the Lordrist here can be found in the abandoned gardens to the east across the skyway. The gardens are demon territory. A group of us wanted to go, but we can't leave the town undefended with the ferals nearby. I heard you fought your way here. You may be able to get to the Lordrist here on your own. We will open the east gate for you. Thank you. I shall retrieve the Lordrist here. Please, just hold on a little longer, Bladeen. I'll be back in no time. Oh, yeah. Found a party member. Gonna get on up here. Ugh. This game is awesome. I love it a lot. Uh, 
So I think I'm going to call it there for now. Uh, let's take a gander and see how we're doing. Yeah, it's been about 40 minutes. I'd say that's good. That's good time. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to leave this as kind of a, a one-off. Uh, if you guys would like to see more, please say so. Uh, I would be more than happy to play through this game for the millionth time um, and show you some of the other cool shit. Uh, I mean, it's there's there's a lot to see uh, and some really cool ideas, some really cool concepts. Just it's fun. I like it a lot. Blow, blow. Uh, other than that, uh, if there's anything else, any game recommendations you have for me, uh, I I've, I've got a couple on my last video, which was awesome. Uh, the games that were recommended sounded amazing, so I'll probably do those in the near future. Uh, I'm also working on a theory video for the beginner's guide that should be coming out sometime in the next couple weeks. Uh, so look forward to that. That's going to be really cool. It'll be my first time doing a sort of heavily edited, narrated video. Other than that, I you guys are awesome. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.